Hello, Racker friends! I'm Jeanette Keith, physical therapist at the Cortland Racker Preschool and Groton Elementary School. Today, we are going to do some yoga poses to represent the life cycle of a butterfly. Now, yoga is generally safe, but it's always a good idea to have a parent or guardian nearby just in case you lose your balance because you don't want to fall and get hurt or break something. I have a yoga mat, but you don't have to have a yoga mat. You can do it right on whatever floor surface you have. You can do it out in the grass. You can do it on a beach towel. It doesn't really matter. You don't have to worry about doing the yoga poses exactly perfect either. Just do the best you can. The idea is to work on your strength and flexibility. If when we get to the balance pose, you need a parent or guardian to give you some support, that's perfectly fine too. So we're gonna start being a caterpillar egg on a leaf. We're gonna use the child's pose from yoga to represent the caterpillar on a leaf. So we're gonna sit down, on, get down on our knees. We're gonna put our bottom right on our feet. We're gonna bend as far forward as we can. Now the idea is to get your head down on the floor, but if you can't reach, that's perfectly fine. You're gonna stretch as far as you can, keeping your bottom down. Get into as tight of a ball as you possibly can to represent a teeny tiny little caterpillar egg on a leaf. We're gonna take a few deep breaths right here letting the sun beat down on our egg while we rest on the leaf. Then we're going to move hatching out of our egg and becoming a caterpillar. So we're going to stretch out. We're going to get straight. We're going to have our hands right underneath our shoulders. We're going to push up in to what's known as the cobra pose to represent our caterpillar. We're going to take a couple nice deep breaths with our hands right under our shoulders. And then our caterpillar is going to eat some leaves off of the plants. And after doing a lot of eating of leaves and plants, our caterpillar is going to build a chrysalis and become a pupa. For representing the pupa, we're going to move into the hair pose, which is very similar to the first pose we did, the child's pose. But in this one, you want to get your head all the way down to the floor, lift your bottom up, and reach your hands back towards your toes. Couple deep breaths right here. And then our butterfly is going to start to emerge from the chrysalis. We're going to get our hands down under us. We're going to come up onto our feet. We're going to move through downward dog pose. As we come out of our chrysalis, we're going to walk our hands in. We're going to be in forward bend pose. Getting a nice stretch here. Couple deep breaths. And then we're going to slowly rise up to standing wiggling and moving, shaking our wings out to let them dry in the sun. And then when our wings are nice and dry and we're ready to fly, we can move into the warrior three pose to represent our butterfly flying away. We're going to hold that. And that, friends, is how we can use yoga poses to represent the life cycle of a butterfly. Again, don't worry about doing the poses exactly perfect. Just do the best you can. Work on your strength and flexibility and balance. And have fun. Keep moving and grooving!